Hi everyone, welcome to Know Your PC, I'm Bob. And I'm Malou, and today we're here to show you some things that you can do if your computer isn't working properly. Right. And we'll demonstrate that with this HP TouchSmart PC, the IQ800 series. This first part, we're going to show you what you can do if your computer freezes or if it crashes, if it's just not responding. Like we said, we're talking about your computer crashing, all right? It's not responding. Now one reason, very simply, you just might have a lot of programs running, all right? Try not to have a whole bunch of programs running at the same time because they're going to be asking the computer to work and it's going to be pulling all of its resources and so your programs might start crashing. So key, if you do have a couple programs running, always save. Always save because something might happen, program might crash, and you want to have your data. Like I said, close some of those other things, all right? And if that doesn't work and your computer's not responding, maybe you're like clicking on it to close or something like that, just wait a second. Be, Be patient. patient. Yeah, exactly. You know, it's trying to do a whole bunch of different things in sequential order, and uh, maybe yours is the fifth thing, so try and wait. Now, maybe a couple minutes go by and it's still not responding, you're going to try something else. Now, my favorite, you press Control. Shift Escape, and that brings up a Windows Task Manager. Now, other people might know it from Control Alt Delete. Now, you can get through to the Task Manager that way. It's just two steps, as opposed to Control Shift Escape is one step. And you'll see up in the Applications tab, if you touch that, it'll bring up all the different applications that are running. Now, some of them might say not responding, and that is what your problem is. And so you can highlight it, and you can go to End Task Now. And then another box will pop up and will say, this program's not responding, do you want to end this? And you say yes, and now, and that'll close that program. And then you can try relaunching it, and hopefully that'll work. If that doesn't work, you're gonna wanna try and restart the computer, all right? So save all the stuff that you're working on. Always save, you Definitely. know? Definitely. And uh, try and close as much as you can, and, if, and then when you get to that point, click the Start button. Over here, there's an arrow next to the lock. Click that, and you'll see it says Restart. Restart your computer. And then relaunch all your applications, or uh, not quite as many as before, and hopefully things will be working normally. So now I'm gonna show you what you can do if some of your HP TouchSmart applications just aren't responding, okay? okay? All right, so I'm gonna touch the home here in the bottom right corner. When you launch that, you'll see that blue arc, it's going back and forth, which means it's loading, it's trying to pull up all the other applications in HP TouchSmart. If that's there for a long time, the first thing you can do is what Bob was showing you earlier, by touching all the keys at the same time, Control, Shift, and Escape, Windows Task Manager will come up. You'll want to end the task of the HP TouchSmart application. So maybe one thing you'll do in the HP TouchSmart application is want to launch photos, but you don't see it up there. You don't see the tile. What you want to do is touch Personalize, and you'll notice that all the tiles are there. You want to make sure that the photo tile is on. All right. If it's grayed out, it's off. So you want to turn it on. When it's blue, it is on. Touch OK. All right, so then maybe you look here and you see photos now and you know, you, you touch it, try to launch it again. Still not working, okay. all right? Go to uh, Personalize, back to the tiles again. So photos, not responding, turn it on and off. Simply, you see it blue, you see it gray, right back to blue. Those two don't work. Maybe another problem that you're having is that you still can't get into photos, all right? It's still not working after the other two things that you tried with turning it on and then turning it on and turning it off. Then what you're going to want to do is close out HP TouchSmart and then relaunch it all over again. If that still doesn't work, what you'll want to do is the procedure that Bob was talking about, the process of turning the computer on and off by restarting it. Another thing that you can also do is make sure that you have been accepting all your HP updates. That's right. All right? HP is constantly, you know, making improvements, fixing bugs. You want to make sure that you're doing the same thing. Upgrading. Exactly. That's all right. right. So the way that you will go to HP updates is go to the Windows Start button. From there, you will go to All Programs. From there, you will go to HP, and there you will see HP Updates. And in HP Updates, you will see a list of all the updates right there from the Welcome to HP Update window. Touch Next there, accept the updates, restart your computer, and hopefully that will work. And you need to have an internet connection which is not provided by HP. Now, you've done all your updates, you've tried all these other things that we've talked to you about, and it's still not working. Well, you might need to uninstall and then reinstall your applications. So, like, let's say if that happened with that HP TouchSmart application, that right. still wasn't responding. Still not responding. But this is true for uh, any preloaded or any uh, application that you load yourself via download or you have a disk and you, you know, upload it. To uninstall, you press the Start button, you go to Control Panel, you go to the control panel home view, and under programs, you go uninstall a program. So now you'll have a list of all the different programs that are pre-installed or installed by you later that you can uninstall. So I'm going to scroll down until I find HP TouchSmart Media. 
Now the HP Touch Smart Media application is for pictures, video, music. So let's say we want to reinstall that, all right? So first we have to uninstall it, and you would highlight that. And then up here it says uninstall change. You would click that, and it'll uninstall your software. Once you've successfully uninstalled it, you need to reinstall it, <laughs> and I will show you how to do that. Now, again, this is preloaded software, so I'll show you how to do that. If you want to reload software that you downloaded or you have on a disk, you know, go on the internet, download it again, put in your disk, and reinstall it that way. For preloaded, I will press start. I will go to all programs, and then I will find PC help and tools. And here it says recovery manager. I'm gonna click recovery manager. It's asking for my permission to continue. I say continue. And so up will come the recovery manager wizard, and so we're gonna recover a pre-existing application. So I will go to advanced options in the bottom left corner, and the third one down it says reinstall software program that came with your computer. All right, so I'm gonna click that, and then I'm gonna click next, and then it says welcome to the software program reinstaller. I will say next, and it says select a program to reinstall. So I'm gonna scroll down to find HP Touch Smart Media or whatever application you wanna reinstall, and then you click next, and then you'll reinstall it, and then you'll restart your computer after you reinstall it, and hopefully that will solve your problem. Now, let's say you've tried a couple of those things and they're still not working. You're That's looking right. at your computer, it's still frozen, it's crashed, it's not responding, and you can't even turn it off. You have some ideas here, right? I've got some ideas, <laughs> I'm gonna work with that. So first thing, try. Uh, just like I did with Control, Shift, Escape, pressing and holding, I'm gonna press and hold Control, Alt, Delete, and it's gonna take me to this new page here, and uh, over in the right-hand side, you'll see an up arrow. I'm gonna click on that, and it says Restart. So that's one thing, hopefully that'll work. Now, if that doesn't work, you gotta turn the power off with the power button. Press and hold the power button. Keep your finger on it. Keep it on until it turns all the way down. You'll hear it power down and let it stay off for a couple minutes, discharge, do its thing, and then come back, turn it back on, and hopefully that'll work. Now, if that power <laughs> button doesn't work, you gotta unplug it, all right? In the back here where it's plugged in, just unplug it from the back of the computer. Again, let it sit for a couple Give minutes. Give it some time to relax. That's right, let it relax. Maybe you need to go take a breath outside. <laughs> Come back in, turn it back on, and hopefully that'll work. If it doesn't boot up to Windows, okay, let's say you turn it on and there's that HP blue screen, you'll see it every time you turn it on and it just stays on it, okay? You'll see it says F11 system recovery. You're gonna wanna press F11 a couple times, watch our video about that. Hopefully that will help you take and follow and solve your problems, all there's right? There's one more though, Bob, there's one more. One more, if none of that works, you gotta call HP support. In your limited warranty support guide, all right, there's a number, a couple numbers in there, call them up. Talk to HP and hopefully they can help you solve all your problems. You've been very helpful today. I'm trying, you, you as well. <laughs> if you still have any more questions or you'd like more information, just log on to our website at hp.com slash support. That's you can right. also check out the videos we've been talking about at youtube.com slash touchsmart. All right, well, good luck everybody. Thanks for watching, I'm Bob. And I'm Alou, see you next time.